Hello, my friends. In this video, we'll be exploring something really, really cool. We're going to be looking at trade predictor results of gorillas and Clint chimpanzee. Now, what motivated me to make this video is the ABO blood types of gorillas and chimps. Now, let's go ahead and read this, um, uh, read this statement here. The presence of ABO polymorphism is highly variable across all primates. Chimpanzees have been found thus far to have primarily type A blood with type O less commonly so chimpanzees mostly have type a but less frequently they have type o and i decided to run a uh, clint chimpanzee through my trade predictor to see what his predicted blood type is uh we're gonna get into that a little bit later first let's look at his ethnic calculator results as you can see here he is closest to himself he is closest to clint chimp followed by oko the gorilla uh, followed by that there is various african groups uh human groups and followed by that there is vindija neanderthal so the closest neanderthal to Clint chimpanzee is Neanderthal from Vindija, Vindija cave in Europe. In terms of the Nashakwat results, let's go ahead and check what uh, this chimpanzee, Clint chimpanzee, is scoring. The closest phenotypes to Clint chimpanzee out of human phenotypes are this, followed by this, followed by this, and the models for the mixture look like um, basically looks like West African plus Central African, or there's actually this model which is East African plus even kind of middle eastern or north african so there's even some um eurasian like admixture in in the oracle uh okay and for the biomarkers i i wonder if i should really explore that i don't think i should we're gonna skip that but we're gonna look at the blood type real quick so we, we scroll past all of this and all of this will be in your report if you purchase the report for four dollars on my website which will be in the description of the video uh, if you purchase two reports, that's going to cost you $7. So there is a $1 discount for the second report. And for the blood type, Clint chimpanzee seems to be scoring 74% likelihood type O, 23% likelihood type A, and definitely not A, B, or B. So most likely his blood type is O, followed by, followed by A. And on the website here, it says that chimpanzees have been found to have primarily type A with type O less commonly. So in his case, he might be type A, or he might be type O, either either way, but he is not B or AB. All right, uh, now we're gonna move on to gorillas. I have four gorillas here, and gorillas appear to be exclusively type B. So I wonder what the gorillas will score. Well, I don't wonder because I checked. Um, I, I checked prior to making this video, but I'm gonna show you what they score. You're gonna see what they score right now for blood types. We're gonna start with Oko the gorilla. I made a video on it on her, and she scores. 98% likelihood of type B. So definitely no blood type besides type B. Not A, not O, not AB. Definitely type B blood type. Uh, Gorilla 1 scores 99% likelihood of blood type B once again. Uh, this seems to really align with the uh, statement here that gorillas appear to be exclusively type B. Indeed, Gorilla 1 and uh, Oko the gorilla both score more than 98% likelihood of type B. Dolly the gorilla is scoring 94% likelihood of type B blood type. She actually has um, the more the most diverse result out of all of these gorillas. Only 94% likelihood of type B, but once again, uh, definitely type B. And Villa the gorilla is scoring 97% likelihood of type B. So it looks like this blood type predictor uh, that I have on my trade predictor works not only on humans but also on various uh, very various monkeys and apes which is very, very interesting. It looks like all of the same variations that are that are implicated in blood types in humans are also implicated in blood types in monkeys and apes. Uh, for the ethnicity, I think only one is sufficient, and I'm going to show you the results of Gorilla 1. I think one result is quite sufficient for that. Uh, and with, with the ethnic calculator results, she scores closest to Clint Chimpanzee, followed by Oko the Gorilla, followed by various Sub-Saharan African groups. Okay. Uh, Clint Chimp and Oko the Gorilla come first. Uh, for the Nashakot results, for what ethnicities she might look like, these are the closest human ethnicities in terms of phenotype to her. It looks like the first phenotype here is Nilotic or East African. The second phenotype is Central African. The third phenotype is West African with a more narrow nose. And here are the models for mixtures of various phenotypes together to create this gorilla. Uh, I mean, it sounds really racist when I put it this way, but these are the closest phenotypes, uh, phenotype mixtures to her. In terms of the eye color likelihood distribution, it looks like she's scoring 88% likelihood of darkest brown eyes. Definitely very dark eye color. 
or hair color likelihood distribution. She's scoring 100% likelihood of black hair, definitely very dark hair color. Uh, well, we know that gorillas have very dark hair. And for skin color, dark brown skin, once again, very dark skin color. For hair texture, she's actually scoring kinky hair, which is surprising because if you know gorillas, let me give you some visual aid. Hold on. Let me give you some very simple visual aid. Gorillas definitely don't have kinky hair. I mean, look look at the hair texture here. Look at the hair texture. It is it is anything but kinky. It is extremely straight. It, the hair the gorillas hair textures are extremely straight. So uh, it is kind of surprising that um, gorilla one is scoring close to one hundred percent likelihood of kinky hair. All right. What also what also is surprising is that she's heterozygous for this variation right here. So it looks like there is even some variation in gorillas when it comes to genotypes in HERC2 region. That's that's super surprising, man. That is super surprising. What about all the other gorillas? Let's see. Hold on. So uh, so this is gorilla one. She's got one light color variant here. What about Oko the gorilla? Let's see Oko the gorilla. How many light color variants here does she have? Two light color variants here. Wow. So Oko the gorilla is a little bit lighter. Okay, uh, what about Dolly? Let's see Dolly. Nashakot, and let's see what she scores here. She's got one, okay. And Vila? Let's see Vila. Um, Vila has got one. Okay, so it looks like Dolly is the lightest gorilla. No, it looks like, yeah, it looks like Dolly is the lightest gorilla indeed. Wow, that was pretty cool. Um... It's definitely very interesting. Well, I do want to remind you to, to check out my site. Uh, you, there's so much more in these reports than just blood type and, and all of these reports. There's also biomarkers, um, which show you what kind of levels of various biomarkers you have, biologically speaking. Um, expected level of iron, uh, blood pressure, um, hemoglobin, glucose, cholesterol, both LDL and HDL, vitamin D. Uh, I'm going to be adding more later. I mean, I add stuff every day. There is ethnic calculator. There's Oka2 and Herc2 eye color. There is Nashakot. There's polygenic risk scores, which show you your polygenic risk scores for certain uh, medical conditions. It's just really, really cool. So I definitely suggest that you check this out. And this was my video on gorillas and chimpanzees and what they score for blood types. I, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.